My name is Aaron Grimes, and I'm from Compton, California. Been playing golf since I was eight years old, I'm 28 now. Started playing out here at Maggie Hathaway when I was nine years old. From there, I went all around the world, playing on mini tours now. Never thought I'd be playing professional golf until I got old enough to realize it was the dream I wanted to chase. So I'm here now. Sit back and watch me straight to the top. Disparity is a very real thing in Los Angeles, not just in neighborhoods, but also in golf. You don't have to be from the upper echelons of the golf world to have a dream. Eric Grimes, a mini tour player and caddy at Los Angeles Country Club, exemplifies that. Comp is attached to my name whenever I tee it up somewhere. That obviously has its own, how can I say it, stereotypes whenever I tee it up and they're like, oh, you're from Compton, so tell me about that. This is Compton Boulevard. <laughs> it's pretty cool, you always see this. This is the tennis courts where Venus and Serena trained at. In nearby South Central, tucked into Jesse Owens Park, you'll find a par three golf course. It's named after civil rights activist and friend of the game, Maggie Hathaway. So this is one of the courses I actually learned how to play golf. A little par three, not a hole over 120 yards, so it was perfect for learning the game of golf. I love the fact that we have a great little golf course right here in the middle of the so-called quote-unquote hood, where the houses are $800,000 a piece. The first organization that I got involved with as a junior golfer was the WSGA. It was primarily a black organization, and it helped kids like myself learn the game, play the game, and stay in the game. I'm Gus Robinson, and I've been with this program since 1982. Our kids here, we put an emphasis on, on education and golf. We told them we want our index to go down and our GPA to go up. So Aaron Grind represented that very well, but all of them become productive citizens in society. That program helped me get better in golf, and because of programs like the WSGA, that we were influenced to kind of just keep pushing. I was born in Compton myself, so there's not a lot of opportunities there, but the Trinity League schools have some very nice home golf courses. So it allowed him to play some country clubs and really helped sharpen his game, although it was pretty sharp from day one. I kind of saw like what that looked like compared to the golf that I was playing, which is a completely different world. You get the kids that grow up at these country clubs, they definitely get you know better access earlier on in life. They're born in the right situation, you know. But guys like myself, I had to kind of work a little harder and be put in that situation rather than just growing up in that situation. In high school, playing with Patrick Cantley, Bo Hostler, I knew like judging my game compared to them. And if they're having the success that they're having, that could be me too. I just had to put the work in. A product of hard scrabble conditions at Maggie Hathaway, Grimes has never forgotten where he comes from. The courses I grew up playing, those courses are nothing in comparison to Los Angeles Country Club. It's pristine. You got fast, firm greens, perfectly manicured bunkers, a great layout, as opposed to going to like Maggie Hathaway. At Maggie, you're hitting off mats, you're fighting roots in the fairways. It's a complete different world of golf. The physical aspect of the golf is completely different in terms of location and your circumstantial elements around the cities. It's definitely a tough situation compared to like a LA Country Club, a Bel Air. You don't get the luxury of walking outside and being 100% safe. Los Angeles Country Club is a beast. You can't fake it at a course like LA Country Club. That course is definitely meant for a championship golfer, hence the US Open going to LA Country Club this year. Grimes has been supplementing his meager mini tour winnings by caddying at Los Angeles Country Club in pursuit of his bigger dream, to play on the PGA Tour and hopefully the 2023 US Open. U.S. Open is at a course I've caddied at for the last 10 years. I'm really excited about qualifying and I'm anxious too. Like I, I really want to make sure I give myself a good chance at getting into the Open. I got close to getting in the Open at Pebble Beach, so I know I, I got what it takes to get in the Open. For players like Aaron Grimes, sometimes it's where you're from that helps you get where you're going. 
You wouldn't think two sisters from Compton would go on to win Wimbledon, but they did. As a black man playing golf, it's still the same. You know, you get looks, you definitely get profiled going to some of these country clubs. I try to lift up the name Compton every time that I can. This is only 17, 18 miles from LA Country Club. It's not far at all, but it's worlds apart.